Hey, thanks again for coming back to Rad Repairs. Today I'm gonna add an LED to my SNS 101. This is similar to the NES 101 mod I did, but this time this one already has AV, so I'm not adding AV. I'm just gonna add a nice little handy dandy LED. Now the original Super Nintendos, they had an LED. It was right here in the front. Granted it was red, but it was in the front. You knew when it was on. These models don't. And this LED, well, went with purple to match the colors of the buttons. So basically we're gonna take this apart and we're going to wire in our LED so we uh, know when the system's on. All right, let's get to it. Flip it over, 4.5 millimeter game bit. All right, the top just lifts right off. There's three screws to take off the shield. Two screws for the pin connector, and one screw back here by the AV connection. The board will come free. And let's take a look at the back. Now the pins we're looking at are these three right here. So we want the center and the top one in this view. It's gonna be ground and power. And we can test it to make sure we've got a good connection. There you go. All right, so we need to get our board back in without crimping our wires. There is a slot here underneath the, the board that we can run through and then we'll run it right along this post right here. Let's go ahead and reattach our board. All right, that's back together, so let's move that out of the way. Move on to the next step. Next step is where to put the LED. I plan on hiding mine underneath here, and to do that, we're gonna have to drill a hole. All right, we're gonna want our hole right here in the middle. So I'm just gonna kinda make a little mark here with my tweezers. There we go. And you always wanna start small. We're gonna use the smallest bit I have to start off. Okay, so obviously that's not gonna be big enough. Um, we just want it to be large enough that we can get the underside of the LED to sit flush because the button is actually going to contact that area. So we're gonna go up a, a couple of sizes on this uh, but we're going to be very careful with how we put the, the LED actually in the hole. Probably not quite big enough, but we're getting there. So one more. All right, so there it is. So now we need to connect it to where it is flush So this button is, is hollow, but the edge of the button sits right there on the hole, at least part of the way, which is enough to allow us to keep the button closed while we put the LED in. And then it should stay put. Gonna put a little bit of hot glue in there.
All right, it looks like it's gonna work just fine. Nice and flush. All right, let's reattach our top. All right, time for a function check. There you go, sweet. Hey, this was a simple one, but I hope you liked it. Don't forget to share it to your friends. Hit that subscribe button for me. See you next time on Rad Repairs.